Leukoplakia is a clinical term for a white patch or plaque that will not rub off and cannot be characterised clinically or pathologically as any other disease. This is a cystectomy specimen and here is a patch of leukoplakia that we are zooming into. When a clinician sees a focus of leukoplakia it will usually be biopsied. So what is the underlying histological change that causes the patch to appear white? The usual cause is hyperkeratosis or parakeratosis of the stratified squamous epithelium. And the reason why a biopsy is so important is to exclude the possibility of dysplasia or carcinoma in situ or even invasive carcinoma. Common sites where leukoplakia may be seen and biopsied include the oral cavity, the vulva and the urinary tract, especially the bladder. Starting off with the oral cavity, risk factors include smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, poor dental hygiene, ill-fitting dentures and betel nut chewing. The two conditions that most frequently present as oral cavity leukoplakia include lichen planus and frictional keratosis. For the sake of completeness, it is worth mentioning hairy leukoplakia, which is seen in HIV positive patients and associated with Epstein Barr virus infection. On the vulva, there are a wide number of conditions that may present clinically as leukoplakia. These include inflammatory dermatoses such as lichen planus, vulva dystrophies, vitiligo and carcinoma in situ. This is a biopsy from the vulva of a patient who had a patch of leukoplakia. The underlying pathology is lichen planus and the reason why the patch was white is the layer of hyperkeratosis that we are zooming into at the top of the picture. Invariably in the urinary tract the cause of leukoplakia is keratinizing squamous metaplasia. Here is a typical biopsy for leukoplakia. The clinical details are bladder biopsy, leukoplakia, query dysplasia, and the patient is a 55-year-old woman. Looking at a low-power view of the biopsies, you can see why the patch appeared white, and that is because of the keratin that is focally calcified that we are zooming into. And when we look at the stratified squamous epithelium at a high power, you can see that the nuclei are regular in size and shape, evenly separated, and there is no evidence of dysplasia or malignancy.